Okay, white, blue, yellow, and red. Oh, okay, good. Easy. My bad. I didn't know there was an extra one. Okay, so I don't know if these are have a thing. Perfect. They don't. Okay, so we're gonna do three things of no, two things of white. Two things of white. No, no, no. Three things of white. My bad. Three things of white. Honestly, it's not gonna be bigger than your pinky nail. Okay, don't glob a lot of paint on there or you're gonna lose it. Yeah, like, look, it's as big as my pinky nail. Okay? Big as my pinky nail. Three little globs. Three little globs, yeah. Yeah, they're not. Yeah, they're not. Okay, then you're gonna get your yellow. Okay, your yellow. I'm gonna put them right next to each other. And you're gonna do your yellow in two of them. I think I'm gonna do four white. I'm sorry. We're gonna do four white. My bad. I want I want the blue to be light too. I love when the blue is light. Sorry guys. Four. Four. I know, that's why I'm putting the yellow so close to it. And then this one's gonna have a little bit of red. This one's gonna have a little bit of red. Same same thing, guys, a little bit like my pinky nail. Okay, does everybody see this first two is yellow and white. The second is yellow, white, and red. Okay, and the last one is gonna have white and blue. White and blue. What do you mean? You guys should have four different piles of paint. Do you guys have four different piles? Okay, so the first one you're gonna mix is your yellow and white, okay? You're gonna mix up your yellow and white and it's gonna be like a baby yellow. Oh good, I'm recording. Baby yellow, it's gonna be like a really, really light yellow. Okay, so this part is gonna be um, painted and you're just gonna wipe that on your canvas. Okay, so we don't miss any, we don't lose any of it. Okay, and then the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna mix up your next color. And it's gonna be like a, like a muted orange. It's not gonna be very dark, but it is gonna have some good tones to it. Okay, and that's gonna be a little bit higher, so I'm gonna put it like right there. Mostly because I don't wanna lose any of this paint. Okay, if you wipe it on your napkin, that's totally fine. I just know I'm gonna mess up. I mean, I'm sorry, I know I'm gonna put it on the canvas, so I'm gonna do it right there. Okay, mixing up the next one. So you should have this yellow, this orange, this red, and then we're gonna have a blue. I might add a little bit of red to the blue later. I might add a little bit of red to the blue, but not till we've used a little bit of the blue. Because I like accents of purple. Okay, so if your brush is dirty like this and you don't want to get it into the blue, you're gonna just wipe it, okay? I use the tip of my brush to mix the paint so that we don't get it dirty. Okay, and then you're gonna mix your last one. It's gonna be like a baby blue, sky blue. Yeah, notice how this color, these colors are super bright. Yeah, it's gonna be a sunset, guys. Awesome. Okay, and again, I'm just gonna wipe it here because this is the area where the blue is gonna come out. Okay, and then you're gonna wipe it off. I'm not doing this slowly because it's already 326. <laughs> okay, and we still have to clean up and I don't wanna make a giant mess in here. So again, your brush is not dry. It is a little damp, but it is not damp enough to make water and um, puddles of, you know, drip, okay? Mine is gonna be on flat on the table. Yours is going to be standing up. So I need you guys to make sure that your brush is not too wet because it will drip onto the table and we wanna avoid that because then it changes our color, okay? So again, your brush is a little bit moist. We're gonna go with the yellow. 
We're gonna okay. We're gonna wet our the tip of our brush. We're not smashing anything. We're just you know the ballerina is touching her toes, and then we're gonna put it this across. Okay. On the bottom, the yellow is gonna be on the bottom. It really is. It, it really is not a, it's like a soft brush, but it still has the bristles thick enough. So you should be getting into the center color and it's okay if you touch it because it's gonna be transitioning into that other color. So you don't even have to clean your brush because you're gonna have a little bit of that orange already on it, right? Okay, so you can dab, dab, and then add some more you can see how that transition is going to be moving. Then you just make it again. You saw how simple it was. So see how guys, I'm already halfway to my canvas. My canvas is already half painted. So if you're starting your sunset really low at the bottom, go ahead and transition your paint higher. Okay, because we want like four different colors to be blended here. Okay, and if you need to wet your brush again, when you get to the pink, you can do that so that you have more of a mixture, okay? I'm sorry, this is kind of fast, but we I'm working with a very limited amount of time. Okay, and then we're gonna get the blue on top and we're gonna transition that too. We might only have enough time to add the sunset, guys. Oh, because they need to dry. Before we add anything to the front, it needs to dry. So right here, I think my pink was too red. I'm sorry, too wet. My brush was too wet for it. So I'm going to clean my brush. I'm going to dry it. And then I'm going to add another layer of that pink. But do you see how that small amount of paint went all over? No, you might need to wet your brush some more. Adrian, you, you definitely need to wet your brush some more. We want it to be like wet hair, not soaking hair. Oh yeah, see that difference in the pink? Yeah. Yeah, and then dab it onto the, the napkin. Walk around. Okay, now that was an easy sunset. You can see now my pink, since it had a lot of water, it's separating again. To follow up on our painting, we are going to finish off with a black silhouette. 